Hi, I'm Karen Mulvaney and this behind me is 43 Seaview Avenue East in the East Wall, Dublin 3. Just to give you an idea of where you are, this heading down this road, oh don't get run over, walk, walk this way, walk this way. <laughs> so just down that way is um, the little and Aldi East Wall Road. So East Wall Road is parallel behind us here. It is a fantastic location. Facebook is nearby, Google is just over there trade tracks are just down the end there and you're a stone's throw from the city centre and um, so this house is huge by East Wall standards it's huge. so this would have originally been a three bed semi with a garage the garage has been converted so this gives us three bedrooms three bathrooms three reception rooms and it's walking condition so as you can see we have a driveway off the off the CU Avenue we're coming in a freshly painted front door and um, into a storm porch. So coming in here, we've got these uh, single glazed uh, windows in the door coming into the hall, the wooden floored hall, which brings in loads and loads of light from the front. So we're walking in the hallway and we have the converted garage, which is just here. It was used as a bedroom. So actually, here's the thing. If you were buying this as an investment, this could be a six bedroom house because we have three reception rooms downstairs, three bedrooms upstairs. So you'll see this fitted wardrobes in, in the rooms. So that was actually used as a bedroom, but it's perfect for a study, a playroom for the kids, a home gym, anything at all that you need. There's so much space in this house. And then we're coming back into the hall. We've loads of storage, by the way. So we've storage under the stairs there, storage behind us there. And you're walking into the front, which, and look at the, the amount of windows. So the light that's being brought into this house is amazing. And um, we're south facing at the back as well, which is fantastic. So this would have originally been the living room. And again, we've fitted wardrobes in here. So this is a lovely wooden floored living room or another bedroom. And um, we have a, a hallway across here and we're going into what would have probably been the dining room. So that is, and again, our fireplace is blocked up there, but could be opened up. There are double doors leading out into the kitchen. So that probably would have been the original back of the house leading out into the back garden, but it's been extended to provide a really nice kitchen. So we're gonna walk back through into the hall so I can show you the rest of this. So we've now had one, two, three reception rooms, walked down into the hall, we've even more storage here. We have a door here leading into a little lobby, which brings us into the main bathroom. So a really big bathroom, part wall tiled, floor tiled, wash and basin, WC, and a full bath. And it's kind of nice that you've got a little lobby area off the hall as well. So you're coming back out into the hall, and we've even more storage beyond again. So another big storage area here as well. And as I said, this was the back of the house. So this huge room is all an extension. So if you come out here, you can see we have loads of wall and floor units. We have windows overlooking the back garden. We have double doors, sliding doors leading out to the back garden there as well. An enormous space, a really nice feature wall behind us there. If you swing around, you can catch yourself in the mirror, say hello. <laughs> and we have a feature wall here as well. So a really nice arch on the ceiling as well, which has been, uh, which is, is, is wooden. So it gives a really nice warm feel. We have tiled flooring and that's not all. There's even more down here. So we have this huge kitchen, dining and living area, which spans the entire width of the house. And then if you come in here, we also have a very large utility room as well. And we head out into that garden, show you that garden before we go upstairs. And as I said, this garden is south facing. So you're coming out here. Needs a little bit of landscaping, but it's a very private rear garden. And if you go to the end of the wall, you can swing around and look at the back of the house. Very, very well done. So an enormous amount of ground floor space. For what looks like a small house to me, well, it's absolutely huge. And now we're going to go upstairs and have a look at the accommodation upstairs. 
So we're walking up the carpeted stairs. You can see this wooden floored hallway behind me. And that is the door, the clear glass door leading from the front door through the storm porch into the hall. So up onto the landing and we have a little turn here. And um, we have a nice window there on the landing bringing in lots of light onto this landing as well. So up here we have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So we have a little secret hidden bathroom for you. So just above you there is your access to your attic. This in front of you, just as you come up the stairs to the right is the smallest bedroom with fitted wardrobes. It's a single bedroom overlooking the back garden. And then directly in front of you as you come up the stairs is this really big double bedroom. Again, with plenty of fitted wardrobes and carpeted flooring. And overlooking the back there out back into the landing and this is our little surprise so usually this is the point of the video where i go and this is the hot press but ta-da it is a wc and washing basin part tiled wall and tiled floors so these houses originally would have always had the bathroom downstairs and because we have an ensuite in the master these two bedrooms don't actually have their own bathroom without going downstairs so the owner, current owner, fitted a WC, which I think is very, very clever to, to facilitate those two bedrooms. This is huge. This is the master. Have a look at this. It's a completely, uh, sorry, with laminate flooring, fitted wardrobes, massive uh, bedroom, and an enormous amount of light with three windows. Huge room. And we have an ensuite. Oh, we also have a bookshelf in here, but we have a shower room with walk-in shower, wash and basin and WC. Fantastic room. This is a fantastic room. Um, so we have two doubles, one single, two bathrooms. That concludes the upstairs accommodation for 43 Seaview Avenue. So just to summarise, this is 43 Seaview Avenue East in the East Wall. We're on market for 4 95 we have a three bed, uh, semi-detached house with three reception rooms, three bathrooms, and a very large kitchen, living, dining extension, and a south facing garden. The location is outstanding and is ready to walk into. And for more information, go to kmproperty.ie.